Hey guys and welcome to an episode of How to Play Tori Bash. In today's episode we'll be talking about how to make shaders. So making shaders is a very weird kind of process and it in entails lots of numbers and math and, and, and trial and error and testing over and over again. So firstly, um, a shader is something that changes the look and feel of your game mainly by uh, changing colors, how, how, how the lighting is perceived in the game and and a bunch of other stuff. As you can see, there's there's lots of them. Uh, most of them I got from other people, but but you do have a, a bunch of default ones already in your shaders list. All you can do is click Control plus H, and it will will open up your shader menu, and you can just click one and then click load, and then you'll have your shaders load up like this. So for an example today, um, we're gonna we're gonna just take a shader and change it up a bit, uh, just to give you a brief intro on how to how to make shaders and and how to start. So generally, you go to the shader that you want to use. I'm gonna use this silver one, and uh, you find this in your Tori Bash install folder. It will be in data and then shaders or shader. I can't remember if it was plural or not, but but yeah, you'll you'll find it pretty easily if you know how to use the Tori Bash install folder. <laughs> but but yeah, so you go there, go to your silver um, shader copy it, paste it. It's easier to just copy and paste one and then just edit over it and change the numbers and stuff. So you can open it up in Notepad. I use Notepad++ because it's extremely helpful. I've put a link in the description if you want to get it. So now, every everything here is a specific color of something in the game. Like, there's background color, there's a mirror color, there's a floor color. Most of them are very specific. Some of them you'll have to play around with and test with. And you'll see these three numbers afterwards. So. First of all, these three numbers are red, green, and blue, typically known as RGB. And as you can see here, this is another website you'll be using a lot to get specific colors. So you basically go and choose your color, move the thing up and down, and you'll see there's three values, well, six values on the side there, but you'll be using the last three, the RGB. And next to those letters are numbers, scaling from about zero or one to 255, 255 being the maximum. So now you're gonna have to take each of these colors, the numbers here, like for example, two, uh, 110, and you're gonna be dividing it by 255. And this is gonna give you a value between zero and one. And this is what Tori Bash uses to, to use the colors. So now, if you remember back in the notepad thing there, there were three numbers. All of them were like, some of them were like 1.00, and there was others like 0.785 or something like that. Basically, these are your colors, and they are in the same order. The first number is red, so your R. The second number is your green, and your third number is your blue, your RGB, yeah. So, so the three colors there, you're gonna have to divide all of those numbers by 255 to get them. I've quickly done it here, but for the last two, I just kind of approximately guessed. And you can see in game that we get a type of blue floor because that's that's what I changed, the, the floor color for there. And if you wanna change other stuff, so all you have to do is basically trial and error, try different colors. Like you want, you wanna go for a green theme, you can use a color picker to find green and then do the numbers and just see what numbers you need to make green and then just change different things maybe try change the distance of the lighting the the, the background color the, the, the like how everything ha uh, happens the horizon the blur between the horizon and the floor there's plenty of stuff you can change and you can get like very cool effects so yeah try it out guys and see if you can make something cool <laughs> 